That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Maggie again and in today's video I would like to share with you experiences that helped me to find an answer to a following question. Disclose or not to disclose the fact that I am totally blind in my job applications. Before I will move to the main part of this recording I would like to emphasize that I am not an employment advisor and that I share with you my experiences as a totally blind person who is in full-time employment and who went through the process of looking for a job several times. I believe that we also need to remember that everyone is totally different and this is why everyone has to find their own answer to this important question. At the same time, I really hope that my video will enable you to look at this problem from many different perspectives and that it will help you to make your own decision. I would like to start discussing today's topic by sharing my experiences from the very beginning of my professional career. So, when I started the process of looking for my first job, I was really scared to disclose the fact that I am totally blind in my job applications. I was afraid that employers will assume that I may need a lot of additional help, you know, with many different tasks or that they will assume that they will have to spend a lot of money of equipment that I may need or that they will assume that I may be unable to complete many of my duties or basically that the quality of my work will be very poor because of my disability and I was very worried that if I disclose the fact that I, may that I am blind, I may never even have a chance to attend an interview. So I thought that maybe if I don't disclose that I am blind in my job application, it will be easier for me to get an interview and then during an interview when i meet you know um, people who conduct the interview it will be easier for me to present all of my strengths to present all of my experiences my skills my knowledge and also that i will have more opportunity to answer all of the questions related to my disability and that I will have a lot of opportunity to explain how I overcome all of the barriers resulting from my disability. But at the same time, I was feeling very, very uncomfortable about this option. And I felt really kind of not okay about not disclosing the fact that I am blind in my job application. You see, I value honesty and being open and transparency a lot. And I was really worried that it may be not the best way to start professional relationship with my future potential employer. And I was worried that, you know, withholding this information or you know, omitting this information may lead to 
many awkward situations or to many misunderstandings. And when I was thinking about this problem, I also tried to look at the situation from the perspective of an employer. And I was trying to imagine how I would feel and how I would respond to the situation. And I then decided that I would prefer to know this fact from the very uh, beginning for many different reasons. And personally, I also thought that if I was in this situation and if I kind of found out that somebody didn't disclose their disability in a job application, then I would think possibly, oh gosh, is there anything else that they maybe are not disclosing? Is there anything else that I will find out later on about? And, you know, remember, please, that this is my personal view here. I know that many of you may not agree with this, but this is what helped me to make my final decision. So this is why I'm sharing this. At this point, I also want to mention another impo important factor. So, I understand, and this is like an obvious fact, that in many situations, in many situations, our blindness is irrelevant. And if it's irrelevant, naturally, there is no need to disclose it, you know, and there is no need to mention it. But I felt that this situation when I'm looking for a job is actually the situation where this information is relevant. And what I mean by this is that the fact that I am blind has an impact on how I function and work. And when I say that it has an impact, I don't mean that it necessarily has a negative impact. I basically do many things differently. So for instance, I walk with the help of the guide dog, yes? Which, you know, may have an impact on the situation at work. For instance, somebody may have a strong allergy to a dog. And if this is the case, it doesn't mean that I will not get a job, but it means that it has to be considered very early on. Because for instance, it may have an impact on seating arrangements, or maybe I will not be on the same shift with this person or not in the same building with this person. So, you know, that may be a helpful information that will enable us to find helpful solution. I also naturally, you know, use computer with the help of the software, which is again, relevant information. I access information in a different way. So I just basically felt that because it is relevant information, I will feel much better about this if I disclose this information from the very start. So after I made this decision, I also thought, okay, so what is the best way to kind of disclose it? So I decided not only to mention it, but also to create a brief paragraph in which I explain how I overcome difficulties resulting from my blindness. So I very briefly describe, you know, list all of the funding, all of the additional funding that I am eligible for because of my blindness. Then I list equipment that enables me to perform my job to, you know complete my duties and then I very briefly list the skills that help me to overcome the barriers resulting from my blindness so for instance I just write because I am blind I use the computer with the help of so-and-so software or because I am blind I walk with the help of the guide dog and I am very efficient with using at using public transport or I write as I am blind I am eligible to this and that additional funding. So I then started sending my applications and sadly for the first few months 
I didn't receive any invitations for interviews. And after a couple of months, I started thinking about this question again. And luckily, I discussed my dilemma with one of my friends who is a sighted person and who is working in a psychology field. And this friend gave me a very helpful insight that I will share with you today. So he said, Maggie, of course, discrimination is a massive problem. And of course, discrimination may be a reason why you haven't received yet any invitations for an interview. But remember that there are other possible explanations about which you also need to remember. So he said, it is also possible that you are not getting invitations for interviews because maybe you are not yet good enough candidate for these jobs. And he said, maybe you need to gain additional qualifications or maybe you need to gain additional experience or maybe simply your application is badly written so maybe you have to rewrite it again or maybe you have to learn how to write application and then he said another thing which initially was hard to receive but now i totally agree with it so what he said is maggie please remember that if at any point of your life you choose to blame all of your failures and all of your difficulties on, on your disability and on discrimination, it may mean that you will stop developing as a person and you will, step you will stop developing professionally. So he said, yes, always keep it in mind, in mind that discrimination is a problem but never blame all of your problems on discrimination and always consider other options and always try to think what you can do to improve and what you can do to be a better candidate and to be, you know, more, you know, to continue your personal development as well. And I totally got this point and I followed his advice and I um, attended a course where I learned how to write applications, how to write CVs properly and how to write covering letters and how to write personal statements. And I rewrote my application again but I still kept information about my disability there. And also I went and, you know, I started volunteering again and I went on additional courses. And after a couple of months, my situation changed and I started receiving invitations for interviews and I finally got a job. <laughs>